שלום רם, שלום רם, פייסטי הרבה שמיה על שער באשר מוכה קודש. שלום רם, תודה רבה לכם אותי. ואני אגיד את זה בווידאו, ג'ודס אסקריאט, רפנט. And if he did repent, is he in the spiritual realm? Is he in heaven? Is he among the angels? Or is he burning in hell? There can only be one sin, according to the scriptures, that you can't be forgiven of, and that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Did Judas Iscariot blaspheme the Holy Spirit? And the answer is absolutely not. But the question is, well, he didn't, he didn't repent. So he's burning in hell, which there's no such thing as hell. That's a fairy tale. So that's an old wise tale, a fable. And that's what the Christian, Christianity is full of is fables. And the more we go into, uh, you know, these Christian websites and vocab and, and just encountering Christians, they, they, they don't understand the scriptures. They don't know. They got to big their game. They got to get their game up by watching us. So... This, this is here, this, is, um, other, this goes under other, other topics. So this is a uh, true nation of Israel. I don't know the whole backstory of them, but I believe <clears throat> there was somebody that key individual made many years ago that was probably a one West and brothers came in after the fact And the, the one was the doctrine, let's call it the one West doctrine so you can understand, you know what I'm talking about, what we teach. The former one West is uh, the reincarnation. Someone kind of pushed out the reincarnation is not a, a biblical. And there was a video put up also of, uh, let me see if I can find it. See, we're constantly putting up videos because we're constantly defending the gospel because these guys constantly go off. GOCC, weird hell, underworld doctrine. Yeah, these guys are totally gone. They're, they're totally gone. That's why Elder Gabar probably left them. But I don't know what direction he's going in. But uh, they teach that the, there's an actual hell, that reincarnation is not biblical, What else? Oh, Edomites can make it. So these guys are, oh, the, um, the Fopi, uh, Ephraim and Manasseh are not a part of the tribes. <clears throat> so we're going to kind of go all, be all over the place. But I don't have to, you don't have to listen to this. All you got to do is go to uh, Vokaz's page and look at his shorts. What I mean by shorts is short videos <clears throat> but anyway let me do this let me do this here you can hardly see this okay these are his short his short videos and everything is focused on um former one westers uh you might see sakari GMS, ISUPK, guy gets on the former one West is so much he doesn't he doesn't have time to preach the true gospel, which he doesn't have it anyway. So here's one script. This is a new one. Elder Apostle to our GMS speaking on Minister Chris defeating and Chris Minister Chris is bugged out of his mind. IUIC Church Blitz. Uh, IUIC looks foolish. Bear me for a minute. Is this the newest one? Yeah, Vocab Malone has former one Westers on the brain. And it's all about demonizing us, making us look bad, taking a statement that I made 
uh, something that I might have said about IUIC or even Sakari, and he'll, and he'll play on it to cause us to go against each other. Okay, this is the one I want to get into. Oh, this is a good one. Um, Amir, Amir uh, Stoudemire says Jews in Israel are Edomites from synagogue of Satan. So he's coming around. He put vocab plays on the emotion of these stupid, uneducated Christians. And when I say that, I'm not talking about all Christians because you have the top scholars of Christianity that know a lot of things, but they're still they still lost too because they don't understand. Their true nation. Uh, they also reject the 12 tribe sign. This guy is fucked up. So he's coming with that Amish look. Sometime he got the mustache. This dude's bugged the fuck out, man. Right here, you got him. He got the whole lip. He got the Amish look going. Then over here, he's got a full beard. What, what's wrong with this guy? The fuck is wrong with this dude? He's going. Anyway, this is what I wanted. I wanted to uh, go to Judas Iscariot will be in kingdom because I'll let you listen to it. Uh, fair use, fair use. And a lot of you might think that too. You don't think it would say everybody can be saved, but, not, but not Judas though. He saw Edom. Judas lived one lifetime in that, in that regard. Right, he did one deed. He sold the savior out. Right, that I mean, at the end of the day, with no blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, he just sold him out. There's many sellouts who want to have to deal with but you can kill Israelites and he was forgiven. Right, so Judas is going to be forgiven in the king. He's going to be there because he was an Israelite. Judas is going to be higher up than he saw him. These videos post this year. All of our people, from the least to the greatest, if you're an Israelite, are going to be in the kingdom of heaven. All right, yeah, even Judas, even Judas Iscariot, who betrayed, who betrayed our Lord, who sold the Hawashai out, even he's going to be in the kingdom of heaven. And he's gonna be straight. Okay, if you're an Israelite man, woman, or child, you will be in the kingdom of heaven. All right, and you're gonna be good at the end of the day. Okay, now a lot of our people will, will take that analogy and say, Well, you know what? I'm an Israelite, so I'm gonna be wicked anyway. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the kingdom anyway. Well, that's not the attitude to have because the Lord has many ways to go. Judas will be in the kingdom just because he was an Israelite. That's right, Judas, Judas will be in the kingdom just because he's an Israelite. He's an Israelite, he's good. So, um, okay, what did, uh, I might have to play it again. Oh. Manata, Elder Manata Zakba, he said that, uh, that um, the Apostle Paul, he killed Israelites. So, you know, is he going in the kingdom? Oh, speaking about betrayal, did not Peter 
betray the Lord and the cock crew, you know the saying, before the, co the cock crow twice, you shall deny me thrice. And he repented, right? So the question is, th this is what these Christians push out. Well, Judas Iscariot is not going to make it because he committed uh, suicide. There's no, there's no scripture that says if you commit suicide, you're going to burn in hell forever. And besides that, going into the argument of hell, the word hell just means pit or the grave. That's what it means. So let me just go into these uh, uh, precepts right here, because this is the thing. They say Judas Iscariot did betray the Lord, just like Peter did. He denied him. That's a betrayal. Um, and all of them, the, the 12, they left him. You know? Oh, then they denied the fact that when he rose back up in uh, Luke, the 24th chapter, he, ro he rose back up and he disguised himself. He came and he didn't look like he looked. And they were like, oh, we thought this guy was Messiah. Messiah. He wasn't. So guess what? They betrayed him again. So all of the 12 burning, burning in hell. And there's no such thing as hell for you dumb monkey minded Christians. So the question is, Judas Iscariot is not going to make it in the kingdom of heaven because he, he betrayed the Lord. Let's read some of these comments. And I'm going to cut you in a minute. This is a whole new argument. Let me say this again. Judas is, they say Judas Iscariot did not repent. I'm going to show you that he did repent. Okay, these people deny the scriptures and make it up as they go along. No, no, that's exactly what you clowns do. We read the scriptures, all right? We answer everything. We filter everything through the scriptures. It says Judas Judas is literally referred to as, as the set of perdition in scripture. Now, Christians don't understand these words. They don't look up words. They, they, basically, let me read it again. It says Judas is literally referred to as the son of perdition in scripture, meaning what comes to your mind? That means he's the antichrist. He, that's the antichrist. Well, for you dumb I'm talking about you dumb Christians that go to church every Sunday, you regular every day, Joe Box of Christians. I'm not talking about the, the, the scholars, which they're going to, but they but they go into words and they know certain things. But let's look, let's deal with the word perdition. It does not mean antichrist. It does not mean the devil, it does not mean Satan. It does that not mean that wicked, wicked one. It just means you're going to die when you look the word up. Look at the word up. Perdition. I hope you can see this. I pulled up this uh, comment. Uh, so I hope this comes up. This is the first time. So let me go to the word perdition so you can learn something. And yes, Judas Iscariot did repent. Vocab Malone, you Joe Box of Christians, you basic every day go to church on Sunday, which which you're worshiping the sun god um, Ra. Okay, the word perdition is uh, in the, written in the New Testament, only in the New Testament. Greek, it's from the Greek. Uh, let me see. It, just, it simply means uh, to die. Here it is. John 17, 12. While, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Those that thou giveth, gaveth me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. 
So this was a fulfillment of scripture. So this was beyond the control of uh, Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot did what he did because the Most High made him do what he was supposed to do. Remember what it says in Romans 8 and around, started at the 20, 20th verse to, to about the 23rd verse. It said the Lord made us subject to vanity, not willingly. Why do we break the laws in the first place? Most high program this to break the laws. Philippians 1, 28, and in nothing uh, terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation, and that is the most high. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall come except that day shall not come except to be a fall, come of falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So is, is uh, the man of sin or the son of perdition, is that Judas Iscariot? If that's the case, you got to change your whole doctrine. You got to start teaching that uh, the, the Antichrist, a.k.a. Judas Iscariot. The man of sin is talking about Esau, starting from their power structure. The, the elite on down. Because the average Edomite doesn't know what's going on. It's the elite that knows what's going on. They know that they're going into captivity. They know, they know that we're the Israelites. The son of perdition, right? So now when you let's deal with the word perdition doesn't mean the Antichrist. It doesn't mean this, the, the devil. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the word perdition. And the word is ap apolia. If you click on it, it'll sound a little, he'll say it a little bit different than myself, but ap apolia is the word uh, destroyed. Just means to destroy, utterly destruction of vessel, a, a perishing, ruined destruction of money, the destruction which consists of eternal misery and hell. They added that, they added that to this definition. It has nothing to do with hell. Destruction which consists of eternal misery in hell. Okay, so perdition is eight times destruction, waste. All the, the anointing oil that uh, Mary, Miriam put on the Lord. They said, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go to it. To die with, to die, just means to die. Perish. Let me go to waste. But when his disciples saw it, they, you know what I got to do? Let me open this up, give it in context. The, uh, the precious anointment, Anoint, anointing oil, oil, precious oils were, you know, that, that was part of money too. You traded with precious oils. Um, now, when, when the Lord was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, they came unto him. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster. Well, it doesn't mention a woman's name, but it, a, a woman having an alabaster. I said Mary. A woman having an alabaster box. A very precious ointment 
and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when the disciples saw it, they had indignation saying, to what purpose is this waste? So the word their waste is perdition. You know, you throw something in the garbage, it, it, you can use the word perdition. Doesn't mean hell. Throw something in the garbage, down the garbage chute if you live in a building, it doesn't go to hell. Satan was ready to catch the, gar the garbage with his pitchfork. For this ointment may have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahushua ants understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble, why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good, she had wrought a good, good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. So that's all I need to go to go to is uh it just means to waste you throw something away you can use the word perdition somebody said well, what are you doing with that bag i'm gonna i'm gonna send it to perdition i'm gonna waste i'm gonna put it in the waster put it in the, in the garbage dump that's all it means you see the word perdition all of a sudden you, you think of the word antichrist and lucifer that's why we call you a bunch of dummies man and um vocab set you up for a fall, you know, he set you up, show you this, how to deal with the Israelite on the street. Then you come up with your three scriptures, and then you and then you get you get embarrassed. Okay, John seventeen. Uh, let me come back over here. So now we can read it with understanding, right? It just means, it says, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, the one that's going to die. That the scripture might be fulfilled. What does that mean? That the scripture might be fulfilled. Let's go to Acts. Acts 1. Bear me for me. Okay. Sixteen verse, men and brethren, this, this scripture must needs be have been fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit, by the mouth of David, spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took the Lord. Now Judas is Yahweh so the the Most High's name is in the name of Judas. The Most High's name, like they'll say Yahweh, Yahweh Shai means Yahweh saved. No, the, the, the G or the, the J-E is for Yah, meaning he. We go through this all the time. For he was murdered, he was numbered with us and, and had obtained part of this ministry, talking about Judas. And this is David. This is a fulfillment of what David said. But, but this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. Now, I'm not going to go into that because if I tell you what it really means, you don't even know what that really means. Even the, one, the seven at one west didn't know what it meant. 
I'm not going to tell you what it means if somebody wants to do a video on it, explaining it. That'll start a, a new, uh, raise some more health. His, his, his bowels didn't actually fall out of him. He didn't explode, so you can understand. But that's another lesson. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, and so much as that, as that field is called in their proper tongue, I sell Dhamma. Now, Dhamma in the Hebrew is blood. So field of blood. Uh, that that is to say the field of blood. For it, it for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishop pick, prick, which is office, let another man take. That's when Matthias came in. Another thing. The Apostle Paul was not part of the one of the 12. That's another thing that the seven used to teach that they went off on. And um, if, if, any, if anything, the Apostle Paul would be the 13th Apostle. He wasn't one of the 12. When Matthias came into that position, he kept that uh, position. Therefore, these men which have company with us all all the time that the Lord Yahweh Shai went in and out among us. Talking about you talking about uh right here, it says it right here. Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. So they cast a lot. Casting lots is uh it's not a wicked act. It's a righteous act. You don't do it all the time. So now, let me do this. Put it in this way. This should take me back to Psalms 109, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't take me back to Psalms 109. Let me try it this way. I'm almost positive it's Psalms 109. Let's see if I'm correct. Let me try office. Okay, I found it. We're in the office. Okay, I'll start from here. You can read the whole psalm. It says, set thou a wicked. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thy wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. Now, did Satan stand on the right hand of David? Yeah, they, he, Satan, the most I caused Satan to make David count Israel, do a, a census. So he can do what? So he can be justified and bringing a curse to Israel. 85, was 85,000 Israelites were put to death by the one angel. Um, when he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. See, this is a general prayer vengeance invoking upon adversaries in general. So Judas Iscariot became an adversary, but the, the bottom line is this. Did he repent? Well, let's find out. Let's go to Matthew 
27. So he's not burning in hell, and he is going to be in the kingdom. Boom. Judas, Judas remorse. What does the word remorse mean? Mark 15 and 1. And straightway in the morning, uh, the chief priests held a uh, consultation with the elders and scribes and the council about the Lord. Uh, I don't want that. Let's see what this says. Let's just go down here. Let's start at the top. And I just read this, Acts 1, 18 and 19. It says, when the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahweh to put him to death. And he had to be portrayed and he had to be put to death. So what Judas Iscariot did was this unnecessary act. The most had to do somebody to, to get him set up, to get put to death. And when they had, like, if, see, if it wasn't for uh, Judas Iscariot, the Lord would still be living. Well, guess what, you fucking idiots? The Lord was supposed to die because he was supposed to be the sacrificial lamb for the Israelites, starting with the elect. It says, and when they had bound him, the Lord, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius, Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then it says, then Judas, which had betrayed him when he saw that he was condemned, repented him, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See thou see thou to that and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself wait a minute if you if you did something really wrong to somebody and you repented you asked for forgiveness and then you feel so bad you kill yourself that's the oh that's repentance that's that's repentance to the tenth power but that, see, the third verse is, says, repent. And Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself. When um, David lay with Bathsheba and had a child, well, when it was brought up to him by uh, the, the prophet, um, Nathan, Nathan the prophet, he acted stupid. And he took, you know, use the uh, scenario of a lamb. He said, that man should be killed. So Nathan said, that man is you. So he got condemned. And so what did he do? He repented. But guess what? The Mosai said, you're going to have to pay. I'm going to give you three choices. And they chose the last choice because it was three days of... Uh, Israel being plagued by the by the angel of the Lord, and it, and when the, it was one angel, so can you imagine when all the angels come down to take this place out? One angel can talk, can destroy the whole earth. That that one angel the, of the Assyrians, there was one angel. I believe I'm if I'm not mistaken, it was one angel that killed 185,000 Assyrians. It was another angel, could have been the same angel, that came down and killed 85,000 Israelites. And the Most High had to call, repent himself and cause the angel to come back because, because, because that angel was moving. He was, cho he was chopping heads like it was, like it was going out of style. And um, that messed up David because, because of his sin. And that's a different sin. That's because he counted Israel. That's because he counted Israel. 
not because of the sin with Bathsheba. The, what happened with the punishment that he received, he had the son and the son died. But ultimately, he had the, he had the son Solomon, which that's Yahweh Shai. That's why he referred to Solomon as his Lord, which was his son. Will you ever have a, a man call his son my Lord? Because Solomon is his Lord. Coming back, he knew that that was Yahweh Shai. Because the angel said, Solomon's kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. Well, when you go into the record, Solomon's kingdom is only 40 years. So, so is, the, is the kingdom still in power? Yeah, but it's on pause. Most I put it on pause for over 2,000 years. I'm talking almost 3,000 years. So I'm on pause. So let me read this again. It said, then Judah, Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. And then he went and hung himself. Fifth verse. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. So he repented, man. Oh, he didn't repent. And he's burning in hell because he committed suicide. There's no scripture where it says you're going to burn in hell because you commit suicide. So let me look, let me pull out that word re repent in the Greek. Let's see what it means. Let me let you listen to this word. I'm not going to try to say it. Strong's G, 3338, Metamelema. Metamelema. It is a care to one afterwards. It repents one to repent oneself. So the Judas Iscariot, Judas Iscariot repent. He, he got damn right, he repented. And the most high has to forgive you. And he didn't commit the sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So vocab Malone, the ball's in your court. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Beautiful preset right here, Matthew 21, verse 29. Let me click on it, get it in context. Parable of the two sons. Which one was justified? But what think ye, a certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went. And he came to the second son and said, Likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went, and went not. Whither of them twine? did the will of his father. They say unto him the first, Yahweh Shai saith unto them, verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of the Most High before you. Now, the scripture says, I believe it's Amos, if I'm not mistaken, Amos 7.17, that our woman, let's see, if, let's see if I can find it. Amos 7.17. 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. That's right here. You're going to be a harlot. And Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. The fourth part of Israel's land is all, all the way over here in the Americas. Because we had that was part of our land, Can, the other part of Canaan. And how did it become our land? Because Solomon had, had, you know, that was his land. He was able to send the, the, um, the Canaanites, the sailors, over there to get stuff for, for, for him. For his kingdom. So a lot of the gold and a lot of the precious things that Solomon had came from America. They, they speak about the gold of Ophir. The Ophir is in America. At one time, this place was called Ophir. When Esau started coming over here, they called it. They called the. They called the Brazil. They, the Brazil is the Hebrew word, which means uh, uh, iron. So anyway, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.